it's moving at a velocity of about 135,000 miles per hour, so it's going really fast. For that distance from the sun, this is really exceptional. It's moving faster than our fastest rockets, on a path that guarantees it will never return. It's called Visitor 3i Atlas, a traveler from another star system that just burst into our cosmic neighborhood. But here's where it gets crazy. It's speeding up. Something is pushing this object, and it's not the sun's gravity. This bizarre acceleration, combined with its truly gigantic size, has left scientists scrambling for answers. Its size needs to be bigger than Manhattan Island, 20 kilometers or so. And uh, there isn't enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver a rock of that size uh, earlier than 10,000 years from now. Many people are crazy about what it could be, but the theories range from a new kind of natural phenomenon to something far, far stranger. The messenger arrives. Our story begins in the silent, cold expanse of space, where something ancient and mysterious has just crossed an invisible border into our home. For only the third time in recorded history, astronomers have confirmed an object from another star system is currently passing through our cosmic backyard. It's been officially designated 3i Atlas, but many have taken to calling it the Visitor. Discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, in Chile, this object immediately set off alarms in the astronomical community. You see, this wasn't just another blurry dot in the sky. The initial calculations of its trajectory were so bizarre, so extreme, that they had to be checked and rechecked. The math was undeniable. This thing was on a hyperbolic trajectory. In simple terms, it was moving so fast, at a mind-boggling speed of over 100,000 miles per hour, that the sun's immense gravity couldn't hope to capture it. It came from the dark abyss between the stars, and it's destined to return there, a temporary guest on an eternal journey. The first two interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov, were groundbreaking discoveries. They proved that pieces of other solar systems could and did wander through our own. But Visitor 3i Atlas is on another level entirely. The first images from the Hubble Space Telescope gave us a hint of its sheer scale. While Oumuamua was estimated to be only a few hundred feet long, initial data suggests the Visitor's nucleus, its solid core, could be anywhere from two to three miles across. To put that in perspective, that's the size of a small mountain hurtling through space faster than any object our species has ever launched. Many people are crazy about this fact alone. An object this large surviving a journey across potentially millions of years of interstellar space is a true wow factor. But the size and speed are just the beginning. The thing nobody tells you is that the visitor started acting weird long before it should have. Comets, which are essentially dirty snowballs, usually become active when they get close to the sun. The heat causes their ice to sublimate, turn directly from a solid to a gas, creating the beautiful coma, or atmosphere, and tail we associate with them. This outgassing typically happens somewhere around the orbit of Mars. Yet, the visitor was already showing a faint coma when it was beyond the orbit of Jupiter, more than six times farther from the sun than Earth. At that distance, the sun is a feeble light and temperatures are hundreds of degrees below zero. Water ice would be frozen solid. So what was causing this activity? The James Webb Space Telescope was pointed at the object, and what it found deepened the mystery even further. Its coma wasn't dominated by water. Instead, it was overwhelmingly rich in carbon dioxide gas. The ratio was about eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water, one of the highest ratios ever recorded. This carbon dioxide ice vaporizes at much colder temperatures, explaining the early activity. This wasn't a dirty snowball. It was a cosmic dry ice bomb. This composition is a stunning clue. A piece of its alien homeworld delivered right to our doorstep. It tells us that wherever it came from, its planetary system may have formed very differently from our own. This strange visitor is just getting started and the secrets it's hiding are even more profound than its chemical makeup. The Acceleration Anomaly As astronomers tracked Visitor 3i Atlas day after day, they noticed something that sent a shockwave through the scientific world. It wasn't following the path that gravity had laid out for it. 
It was deviating, but not in a random way. It was accelerating, moving away from the sun faster than it should be. This is a phenomenon known as non-gravitational acceleration, and it was the exact same mystery that made our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, so famous. But not all things are what they seem. With a normal comet, this acceleration is easily explained. The outgassing of ice and gas from its surface acts like tiny rocket thrusters, giving the comet a gentle but persistent push. The problem is, while the visitor does have a coma, the amount of gas detected isn't nearly enough to account for the acceleration observed. It's like seeing a sailboat moving at full speed on a windless day. Something else is pushing it. This acceleration anomaly has become one of the hottest topics in astronomy, and scientists are scrambling to come up with an explanation that fits the facts. One of the leading theories revolves around hydrogen. The idea is that as the object traveled through interstellar space for millions of years, it was constantly bombarded by cosmic rays. This high-energy radiation could have split water ice molecules within the object, creating and trapping molecular hydrogen H2 just beneath the surface. Then, as it entered our solar system and warmed up slightly, this trapped hydrogen could have been released as a jet. Because hydrogen is the lightest element and transparent, these jets would be completely invisible to our telescopes, yet they could still provide enough thrust to explain the extra push. It's a clever explanation, because it relies on physics we already understand. For an object as small as Oumuamua, this theory works well. For a mountain-sized object like the visitor, it would require an enormous amount of trapped hydrogen, pushing the limits of the model. Another compelling idea suggests the visitor isn't a comet at all, but a nitrogen iceberg. Scientists have proposed that it could be a massive chunk of frozen nitrogen, knocked off the surface of a distant, Pluto-like exoplanet. Pluto's surface is famously covered in vast glaciers of nitrogen ice. If a massive impact event occurred in another solar system, it could have sent fragments like this careening into interstellar space. A nitrogen iceberg would explain the lack of a visible water-based tail, and its sublimation could provide the mysterious push. This theory is particularly exciting because it implies that we're not just seeing a comet. We're seeing a piece of an alien world surface, a sample from a planet hundreds or thousands of light years away. It's a mind-blowing possibility that opens a new window into the diversity of planets in our galaxy. But a small, vocal group of scientists believes these natural explanations are missing the nickel angle, the one detail that doesn't add up, a relic of another world. Every object in space carries the chemical fingerprint of its birthplace. By studying the light from Visitor 3i Atlas, we can act as cosmic detectives, piecing together clues about the star system it calls home. The extremely high concentration of carbon dioxide is our first major clue. In our own solar system, objects are generally categorized by where they formed relative to the frost line, the distance from the sun where it's cold enough for water to freeze. Objects formed closer in are rocky, while those formed farther out are icy. But there are other frost lines too. Even farther out, it gets cold enough for things like carbon dioxide and nitrogen to freeze. The visitor's composition suggests it may have formed in a region of its own solar system that was incredibly rich in carbon dioxide, perhaps near a CO2 frost line. This tells us something profound. The architecture of its home system might be fundamentally different from ours. This opens up a universe of possibilities. Perhaps it was born in a system with a much cooler star, where the frost lines are closer in. Or maybe it came from a system with a gas giant planet much larger than Jupiter, whose immense gravity stirred up the planetary building blocks in a unique way. The visitor is a physical sample from one of the billions of other experiments in planet formation happening across the Milky Way. You see, we can only study our own solar system up close. Every other star is just a point of light. But this object brings the data to us. It's a wow factor that cannot be overstated. We are analyzing the geology of an alien world without ever leaving home. Some models even suggest the object could be incredibly old, possibly older than our own solar system. It might have originated from a star in the Milky Way's thick disk, a population of ancient stars, making it a true relic from the dawn of the galaxy. Expanding on the nitrogen iceberg theory, if the visitor truly is a fragment of an exopluto, 
the implications are stunning. It would mean that small, icy worlds like Pluto are common throughout the galaxy. It would also suggest that violent impacts capable of blasting pieces of a planet into interstellar space are also a regular occurrence. The visitor's journey would have been a perilous one. Over millions of years, cosmic rays would have slowly eroded its surface, changing its color from a pristine white to a dark reddish brown, just like the colors we see on Oumuamua and other distant objects in our own solar system. It would have tumbled through the void, a silent testament to cosmic violence and planetary evolution. Each new piece of data we gather from this object helps us build a picture of its history, a story written in molecules and isotopes. But the most sensational theory of all doesn't point to a natural origin, but an artificial one. Are we missing a key detail? This is where the story takes a sharp turn from science into the thrilling realm of speculation. In the vast, silent theater of space, you expect certain rules to be followed. Comets, those dirty, icy snowballs, are made of predictable stuff. Water, dust, and a cocktail of frozen gases. Among those elements, two are practically inseparable, iron and nickel. They are the cosmic twins, born together in the violent death of supernovae. Finding one without the other in space is like finding a shadow without a person. It just doesn't happen, until now. The detail that left astronomers speechless came when they pointed the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope at 3i Atlas. Using spectroscopy, which is like a chemical fingerprint reader for light, they analyzed the gas surrounding the object's core. The results that came back were, to put it mildly, impossible. The instruments detected a clear, strong signature of nickel, but the iron, its cosmic twin, was gone, vanished, not a trace. This discovery was so jarring it was like looking at a human face and seeing eyes but no mouth. The printouts showed pure nickel vapor, something you'd expect to find as a coating on high-tech industrial equipment, not sublimating off an ancient ball of ice and rock. When natural explanations start to look shaky, you have to consider the unnatural. This is where Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist famous for suggesting our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was an alien probe, re-enters the picture. For Loeb, the pure nickel isn't a chemical quirk. It's a technological fingerprint. In our own engineering, pure nickel is a superstar. We use it to plate surfaces for protection against corrosion and extreme heat. It's a key component in alloys used for spacecraft and nuclear reactors. Finding it pure in nature is incredibly rare, but finding it in a factory is common. The hypothesis is as simple as it is terrifying. What if 3i Atlas isn't a comet at all? What if it's a piece of advanced technology a probe or even debris from a craft that has been traveling through interstellar space for millions of years. In this scenario, the nickel isn't part of a natural rock. It's the plating on a hull that is slowly being vaporized by the sun's energy. This whole situation ties back directly to Oumuamua. It too behaved in ways that defied easy explanation, accelerating away from the sun as if something was pushing it. Loeb argued it was a solar sail, now, with 3i Atlas, we have a second interstellar visitor breaking the fundamental rules, this time of chemistry. Many people are crazy about patterns, and two strange visitors in a row is a pattern that's hard to ignore. The first broke the rules of motion, and this second one is breaking the rules of chemistry. Is it possible that the galaxy is filled with these technological relics, ancient probes that have been drifting for eons? Does every strange object in the sky have to be a natural phenomenon, or are we blind to other possibilities? What do you think Visitor 3 I Atlas really is? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to explore more cosmic mysteries, make sure to like this video and subscribe.